God's secret to power for dominion. God's secret to power for dominion. In Deuteronomy 29 and verse 29, the Bible says, The secret things belong to God, our Father. But the things that are revealed belong to us, God's children, and to our children forever. Not for today only, but forever. That we may do all the words of this law, or all the word of God. You need power to do all the words of scripture. You need power to obey. You need power to do what God says must be done. Jesus gave us power. When he called it 12, he gave them power and authority over our devils. He sent them forth to preach and to heal. And they went and preached and they healed. The power was for doing. God sent Jesus Christ anointed him with his Holy Spirit and with power. And Jesus went about doing good. Doing. The key is doing. There are many talkers today who cannot do nothing but argue about scriptures. Listen. Paul said when I came to you, I refused to come with enticing words of man's wisdom. I refused to come with great words. I can teach, yes. But I chose to come to you for this purpose, to demonstrate the spirit and power of God. When I came to you, it was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. No, I came in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Why? So that your faith will not be rooted in the wisdom of man, speaking or teaching words of scriptures only make you raise men who will believe in your wisdom. <laughs> Today, so many people are quarreling online, talking what can never help anybody, but arguing uselessly, foolishly. Listen, if he sent you, he must empower you. And if you are empowered, the proofs of your empowerment is in the works you do, not in the words you speak. Not in your eloquency, not in your teaching ability, not in fact you can teach doctrines. No. It is in the fact that you can deliver the bound. You can heal the sick. You can cleanse the lepers. You can raise the dead. You can do miracles, wonders, and signs. Jesus went about doing good healing all, all them that were oppressed of the devil for God who was with him. If you embody God and his anointing, it must show. They said to themselves that these people have done a notable miracle. We cannot deny it. It's not hidden. Acts 4.16. These ones, they have done a notable miracle and we, no matter how much of arguments we may bring forth, we cannot deny it. We cannot. Time has come when what we do should speak for us, not what we say. There are many who are blind. They need to see. Go and open their eyes. I don't believe in talking rubbish. I want to see work done. Jesus is looking for laborers, not talkers. He went about all the villages and the cities teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And he was healing every kind of sickness and every kind of disease. When they saw the multitudes, he saw that they were harassed and helpless. They were scattered as sheep without a shepherd. They had pastors, but they were as good as having no pastors. So Christ said to us, pray. The laborers are very few. The harvest is much. They seek. They make up the harvest. They burn. They make up the harvest. The poor, they are part of the harvest. They, they afflicted, they oppressed. All this was suffering, they are the harvest. We must rip them in. And talking is cheap. Talking cannot help any of them. If they are sick, healing is what is the way to bring them in. If they are blind, open their eyes. 
If they are deaf, cause them to hear. If they are dumb, make them to speak. If they are lame, let them walk. That is how we bring them. The harvest is plenty of plentiful, but the laborers are few. What we do is says, pray that the Lord of the harvest should replace those docile, incompetent, powerless people with those who can do the work. Why does God give us power to dominate? God's secret to powerful dominion is simply that if God has called you, he must give you power. So believe it. The secret here I am addressing is that of faith. To as many as receive Jesus, to them God gave power. Believe it. There's no amount of power that God has given you that you will see in your life until you believe it. Many of God's sons are empowered, but they're looking for power. No. To as many as receive Jesus, that they are born again, God has given them power to become God's sons who are like him, who are empowered like him, who are to live like him, and who are to walk and operate like him. Jesus was what made, and then God the Holy Spirit, and he came to show us who God is. Everywhere he went, he manifested God. So, you must believe. The secret to power for dominion is your faith. Believe it. God has called us. He has empowered us. Jesus called the 12. He gave them power. He called the 70. He gave them power. He said to us as his church, ye shall receive power after you receive the Holy Ghost. So we receive power by faith. We have been given power. Believe it. If you have the Holy Spirit, you have power. Believe it. And the proof of your faith is in your confession. If you believe you have it, say it. I am full of power. There's no sickness that will hear my voice and stay. There's no devil that will hear my voice and stay. When I say go, every devil must go. When I say go to sickness, every disease will go. When I say to the blind, see, blindness must depart and sight must be restored. When I say to the deaf, hear, deafness must bow and hearing must be restored. When I say to the dumb, your tongue is loosed. The spirit of dumbness will go and they will speak plain. When I say to the lame, rise and walk, they will rise and walk. Now as you are hearing me, I speak to every devil in you, causing you problems, bringing you afflictions. Depart now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I command you to be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed now in Jesus' mighty name. Be delivered. I proclaim your liberty. By authority in Christ's name, because of the blood he has shed, he has paid in full for your freedom, for your healing, for your return to your possession, and for your total restoration. Right now, I proclaim you healed. I command that you be free from every trap of the wicked and that you live and not die in the name of Jesus Christ. The secret to power for dominion is Faith. You must believe that God has given you that power. You must say so. Whatever you believe that you can say, you don't have. Only by saying what you believe, you can secure what you say. You can possess what you say. You can have what you say. We believe, we speak, we have. May God help you to believe. Because faith is one of the strongest weapons you need. As a secret tool to your empowerment for dominion. You know, Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. By faith, you will dominate anywhere you are. You need to believe that God has given you power if you must walk in power. God bless you. It is well with you. I will see you in our next video, in part three of this series. Peace.